Today is Halloween, Morphle. We need to find you the right scary look. What is going on? Why is everybody wearing weird outfits? I love your costumes. You two look exactly like real pirates. You should compete in the Halloween costume contest. Come on, Pirate Phil! And the winners are... The guys in these incredible pirate costumes. Allow me to give you this award. What? Give? You are not giving us this award. We are stealing this award. <laughs> oh no, they're real pirates. Amazing! Come, Morphle! Let's go trick-or-treating! We need to get back at them by stealing all of their candy. But how? That morphal creature isn't afraid of anything. Halloween is my favorite holiday because I love to scare children. <laughs> no real ghost? No, Morphle. Don't worry. Ghosts don't exist. So, the only thing Morphle is scared of are ghosts, eh? <laughs> Come on, Phil. Let's go. Look, Morphle, thanks to you, we've collected lots of candy. Boo, I'm a scary ghost. <gasps> ghost! Morphle, come back! Your red blob can't protect you now. All your candy belongs to us. <laughs> It's me. Don't be scared. We need your help, Morphle. The pirates took everyone's candy. Burr, burr, ghost is scary. Boo. Morphle, ghosts aren't real. Look. Ghost no real? Nope. You don't have to be afraid, Morphle. Hi. There's no real. Oh, no!
He took all the candy we stole. Pirate Phil, Morphle didn't take your candy? I didn't steal this candy, Pirate Maurice. I got it because some parents liked my pirate costume. It's called trick or treating. What? Hm. Give me some candy too, Pirate Phil. No, Pirate Maurice. I trick or treated for this myself. Get your own candy. Oh, come on, Pirate Phil. Just a wee bit of candy. Just one piece. I don't piece care. Of I don't, I don't want to hear it. Go get your own candy. It's called trick or treat. Time to decorate the house with these scary decorations, Morphle. <laughs> Can you tie this rope to the roof, Morphle? Oh dear, I've been so busy with my inventions, I completely forgot it's almost Halloween. I'm far too late to still buy Halloween decorations. Uh, gone, uh, sold out, sold out, sold out. Uh, wait a minute, this looks promising. Real, actual, scary, cursed Egyptian bat god sarcophagus can be delivered immediately. Order! Now that's what I call quick service. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. That's it. Keep still. <sighs> Professor Rashid, do you need help? Mila, Morphle. Oh, that would be wonderful. Can you catch it, Morphle? Let's get it back to the lab. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> back where you belong. Hello? Huh? Is anyone there? I can't find the light switch. The mayor? What are you doing here? I don't know. The last thing I remember is a large bat and a bright light. Oh dear. I think the Bat God turned you into a bat. Bat God? Yes, well, you see, I ordered this actual cursed Bat God sarcophagus online, and uh, I'm beginning to suspect it might actually be cursed. Then we need to find that Bat God as soon as possible. None of these bats is the Bat God. Where could it be? Oh no! Morphle, go catch the Bat God while I catch the Professor.
Don't forget the ruby. Don't you think it might be dangerous to give him back the ruby? Well, uh, there is a 30-day no-questions-asked refund, but uh, <clears throat> it needs to be complete. Are you ready to come trick-or-treat with us, Anini? Let's start with our neighbor, Vanderboos. Yes? Trick or treat! <laughs> well, if you want any treats from me, you better show me your best trick. Better luck next year! Aww. Well, I'm sure the next house is a bit more friendly. That was actually a pretty neat trick. You are going to help me ruin Halloween! <laughs> the meaning of this? Hmm. What the? Scram, you! You ruffian! Let's pack our candy! Aren't those the bats you brought to life, Anini? Don't worry, we'll catch them so you can change them back. Morphle, morph into an airplane. Now, pick up Anini and get her close to the bats. Back here! I'm not going to let you blow out every lantern in town! It's the pumpkin! Morphle, morph into a tiger and let's catch it! What a nice lantern! This will look wonderful with the others! Only the skeleton is left now. Morph into a helicopter. Over there, Morphle. But I wonder why they were acting so mischievously. Because I told them to. This was so much fun. From now on, I will try to ruin Halloween every year. That is so mean. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? And this is Cootie. Aww, what a cutie! 
And when he's happy... <laughs> Monster! No, no, wait! Aw, oh, shucks. What's wrong, Daddy? Well, the one thing that Cootie loves the most is to scare people. But when he does, people run away and don't want to be his friend. But tonight is Halloween night. People will like it when you scare them. Yes. Cootie, maybe you should go with Mila and Morphle to trick or treat. Yes, we're going to have lots of fun. Hi, Mr. Randerboos. <laughs> Are those your Halloween costumes? <laughs> They're not even scary. Cootie, but I don't think Mr. Vanderboos likes Halloween anyway. Let's keep going. Oh, look at you! So scary. Hmm, what are you supposed to be? What a wonderful costume! I haven't been scared like that in years. Yay! Thank you very much! Mommy, they stole my costume! What? Who did? We did! We are now the Halloween costume bandits! <laughs> and this little guy's costume is by far the scariest! We want it! Stein, it won't come off. Nah, we need to go, Yon. Morphle, morph into a spider. No, please, uh, don't hurt us. saved everybody's costumes. I'm sorry I called you a monster earlier. Do you want to be my companion? Bye. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's go, Morpho! <laughs> I'm training for the bull riding competition, but I only have this cow. Morpho, morph into a big bull. Okay, Morpho, this is the game. Farmer Bob is going to hold on as tightly as possible. And you try to do whatever you can to throw him off. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yippee! Ha. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Morpho! No! could ever imagine. Thanks a lot, Morpho. Rocket ship! 
my robot race car has Super Booster Rockets! My unicorn race car has a magic horn! It can make magic portals! Let's see how you can keep up with this! Rocket ships can go really, really fast! <sighs> hey, where is Sarah and Troy? Let's go back, Marvel. Hey, guys, why didn't you keep up? Marvel is way too fast for us. Hmm. You know what? Why don't you guys join me inside Morphle the rocket ship? We can share! What's that? Oh no! My livelihood caught on fire! <laughs> Morphle! Morph into a fire truck! Oh, thank you so much, Mila and Morphle! I have no clue how that fire started. What's that sound? Oh no! The cornfield caught on fire, too! It's popcorn everywhere! Oh. What on earth is causing all these fires? Look! It's a dragon! It caught the flu and it's sneezing! Fire! And it's heading for the city! Big fella. I've got some medicine for you. <laughs> How about a little bedtime story before you go to sleep? Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. Shouldn't it be Little Blue Riding Hood? Uh, okay, sure, yeah. So Little Blue Riding Hood was walking through the forest to bring a basket of food to her sick grandmother. All alone? That's no fun. Uh, okay, she brought a friend. <gasps> As they walked through the forest... Walking? Morphle, morph into a monster trap. That's way faster. What? No, wait. There is a wolf. Where are you going, little girl? Sorry, Mr. Wolf. We're in a hurry. Uh... Grandma! Oh, right. They arrive at Grandma's cottage. That's it? Grandma should live in a big skyscraper. And there's a giant dragon to protect her. Wow! 
Okay, but the wolf is also there, and he gets hit by a UFO. Are you okay, Mr. Alien? Well, I am, but my ship is all broken. Now I can't get home anymore. We can take you there. Morphle, morph into a spaceship. Fine. They go to space and take the alien home. There's my home! But the wolf is right behind them. Is he riding a space shark? Uh, sure, but he is getting closer. Thank you so much for taking me home. No problem. Oh, and then they were back at Grandma's place. Ah, Grandma! Let's bring her the basket. Yes, finally. So, they bring Grandma her basket of food. Hey, you are not Grandma. Wolf! No, but you can't tell. The wolf has a disguise. Really, it's me. Grandma! No, your mouth is way too big. Okay, you got me. I am a wolf, and I'm going to eat you. But in a forest nearby, a strong and brave woodcutter heard the wolf. That sounds like a wolf. Don't worry, everyone. I'll handle this. <sighs> Stop it, you big bad wolf! Oh, no! It's the brave woodcutter! Looks like I saved the day. <laughs> hmm, what's this? Aha! I believe this is yours. Oh, thank you, handsome young man. But have you seen my granddaughter? Oh, eh, uh, Mila? Mila! Now that was a good story. Magic Pet would make a great attraction at this carnival. Really? Yeah. What do you say? Yay! Morpho, morph into a motorcycle. Morpho, morph into a lion. <laughs> Morph into a hot air balloon! You did a great job today. The carnival is about to close, but first, we have... <gasps> Ice cream! <laughs> Hi, Daddy. What are you 
doing? I'm trying to get this flying lion to fly, but it's too scared. Poor thing. Today, its new human companion is coming to pick it up, and he was promised a flying lion. <sighs> I've been trying all night. I'm so <sighs> tired. I don't know what to. Oh no! Daddy fell asleep. We should help the lion to not be afraid of flying anymore. Hello? Is there anybody here? I am looking for my flying lion. Oh, I don't want to wake him up. I'll just take the flying lion myself. Ah, here it is. We will show you that it's not scary to fly. Morphle, morph into a hot air balloon. I don't think it's working. It's just making the lion more scared. Hmm, I have a plan. I think we should stop trying to teach you how to fly for now, lion. Let's play a game instead. Let's play Hot Lava Monster. The game is that you can't touch the floor because that's the lava. Only the lava monster can touch the floor and he has to catch the other players. Morph into a lava monster, Morphle. Some music. <laughs> Mila, Morphle, I need your help. I can't find the noise monster. Not in my city. That's him! Every time the noise monster hears a loud noise, it grows. And if he becomes any bigger, that building he's on will collapse. But how do we get them up there? Wow!
lion is amazing at flying. to be very quiet, or else the noise monster will grow again. Don't worry. I'll get everybody to be quiet. Everybody be quiet! <gasps> I think he should go see a doctor. Morphle, morph into an ambulance. Let's go, Morphle. Oh no, it's a trap. Jam. Morphle, go over it. Yay! This is great, Morphle, but I have an even better idea. Morphle, morph into a flying ambulance. Thank you very much for bringing Troy to the hospital, Mila and Morphle. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor too. That way I can help people get better, just like you. That's very nice, Mila, but I will tell you a secret. It's not just people that I help. I am also the doctor that treats all the mythological creatures that live in and around this city. It would be a great help if I could use this amazing ambulance to visit my next mythological patients. Yeah, of course! Our first stop is Starfish Island. Our next patient is the mountain giant. Look! That's him! Wow! Let's try again, Morphle. Ever reach the mountain giant? I have an idea. Morphle, add a jet engine to the ambulance. Thank you so much. Morphle was a great... Oh no! It looks like Morphle the ambulance caught the flu from one of our patients. Poor Morphle. Please help Morphle get better, Doctor. 
I'll give Morphle some medicine. But the rest is up to you, Mila. Because the most important thing Morphle needs now is love and care. Daddy and I made you this healthy soup, Morphle. Once upon a time, there was a little red ambulance, and it caught the flu, and it was very sick. But the little red ambulance...